So even if you watch all the vocal videos on my channel, there's still a couple mistakes I think that people make and how I would do things situation to situation might be different and I'm gonna show that here. Here's a client that uh, paid for me to mix them and I'm gonna show exactly what he did before and what I did in the final product. Here is the final product. Make her move when the boys in motion. They heard them boys approach and move when the boys in motion. They heard them boys approach and move when the boys in motion. They heard them boys approach and move when the boys in motion. Couple good things we'll start off. First tip, set the proper levels for recording. The recording levels were pretty good. Huge one that I didn't go over in my main vocal video, but is very essential. Not being so, so quiet where every word is this loud at most. It's at a good medium volume. I'd like it a little bit louder, but you know, like it's a little bit high right there. If that got clipped off, it wouldn't be the worst thing. Number two, have good rhythm in the performance. The vocal rhythm was really, really good. Move. When the boys in motion, they heard them boys approach and move. When the boys in motion, they heard them boys approach and move. Very, very good. Couple things that I would change. Number three, don't add a filter to the highs. I don't know why people, I've seen like two or three people that I've given lessons to or done this for, add this filter to the top end and cut off above like 10,000 hertz. Let's just turn it on and off and like see what the difference is. Make her move when them boys in motion. They heard them yeah. boys approaching. Make her move when them boys in motion. They heard them boys approaching move. That top end, that little kind of buzz, you want that. That isn't hiss that isn't bad microphone stuff that's super super good vocal stuff to make you sound up front number four boost the highs even more and even after that i eq on the top end a little bit more it's because our mics usb mics or computer mics do not produce the sounds accurately that we put into them and they cut off that top end a lot so i'd cut stuff like this on the eq i'd boost i know it seems like a lot but what you're gonna see me do right now is re-EQ this vocal to what I would do if it was a client. What I want you to listen for is when I go into each EQ band here, it'll take about 30 seconds for this vocal when it gets too harsh, and then you'll see me bring it down a little bit in this band. And then here when it gets to kind of hollow and empty, I'll bring the EQ band that I'm doing back up. Listen out for that. When the boys in motion, they heard them boys approach and move. When the boys in motion, they heard them boys approach and move. That one gets a little bit buzzy because it's on like 4K, but we will control when that. When the boys in motion, I, 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 I make her move. When the boys in motion, they heard them boys approach and move. It's, I think this is better like so far already. Number five, a lot of people are doing parallel tracks wrong. The parallel tracks don't get 100% wet a lot of the time when I get them from clients. You should control the amount by the volume of that track. So if this is our parallel reverb track, then what I'm gonna do is turn this thing really, really wet on the reverb, really, really crank it up on that. They heard them boys approaching. Now you layer it back in with the original. Make her move when the boys in motion. They heard them boys approach and move when the boys in. And number six, at a parallel flanger track. I know that sounds weird. That like what? I would a flanger work? It's kind of random. I got it from an Alex Tume video where he says this plugin called the Ensemble worked really well for like Young Thug and Travis stuff. Just kind of glue stuff together in an inexplainable kind of way. Add some variation. And to me, it's always worked. They heard them boys approach and move. And parallel it in. Boys in motion. I, 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 I. Make her move. When the boys in motion. They heard them boys approach and move. When the boys in motion. Sounding better already. So while I didn't complete the final vocal that you hear in the mix in Soundtrap, I made it in Ableton. This is the exact process that I got to and the exact tinkering that I did on top to produce the final product that you're hearing right now. So if you guys liked it, leave a comment down below and like the video. And yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs> See you guys in the next one. Peace.